This event tests the dribbling and ball control of the players. Teams compete against each other in their flight. It is important to remember that teams must provide their own balls for the dribbling relay. The tournament does not provide balls for the event. It is also a good idea to assign a duty to one team member to collect the ball at the end of the competition. Players should arrive about five minutes before their scheduled start time and report to the check-in volunteer at the station for their assigned field. In the dribbling relay, all teams in the flight compete at the same time. Each field has eight lanes numbered 1 through 8 and has five flags, five yards apart, and 40 yards long. Each team must provide four players for the event. To begin, two players will stand at each end of their assigned lane. Starting on the whistle, the first player dribbles the ball around all five flags and passes the ball to the next player at the other end of the lane. The next player receives the ball and starts dribbling once their teammate passes the end of the lane. Each player must dribble the ball around each flag in their lane before passing the ball to the next player. Oh, and if a player misses a flag, that player must go back and dribble around it before continuing on the course. This is a timed event, so if any player interferes with another player during the event, that might result in a disqualification. Remember, each player only goes once during the dribbling competition. There are timers that are recording the times of each first and second place finishers. Just remember to hang on to those score sheets, as that's what will confirm your team won first or second place in the event. Without those score sheets, you won't be able to collect your medal. We hope you enjoy competing in the Fort Lowe Shootout Soccer Olympics and that you are able to get the most out of the tournament. Remember, these events are all about having fun and meeting new people. Yes, there are awards given, but the real fun comes from being a part of all of the excitement and trying your best in these events. We'll see you at the fort.